customer is looking to have a patio and sitting wall installed in their front lawn. Um, currently, they have a Casilla Stone, a Dolomite uh, step, and um, they want to use Dolomite or, or some other yellow stone as the patio stone um, for their patio in here. And I did warn him about patio or about uh, Dolomite in um, in patios. We need to see if we can come up with some other uh, yellow stone that comes in irregular pieces, not patterned pieces. He wants the irregular pieces. Um, so the, uh, it's 13 feet from the, uh, the step over to the corner of the house over here. And it does curve in a little bit, approximately one foot. And then, um, we've got 11 feet from the house to over here. We laid out a, we kind of laid out a, a hose in the general, um, size that it's going to be. So, um, this is where the patio is. Um, and then we talked about a sitting wall, and we'll bid the sitting wall separate, just as um, so you can see the difference. This is going to be made out of Casota stone um, with, a, um, with a dolomite cap. Um, and then um, he saw a picture in our flyer of Kreider Fleming with the, uh, like the, the stones that we put on their side and gave it a little bit more of an artistic look. So he was curious, and uh, he, he wants to have a bid for us to uh, put uh, boulders in there, small boulders. So um, he's got boulders in some of his landscaping here. So um, they have to be in a smaller size. size. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is, um, I said probably no more than eight boulders uh, per side, eight uh, field stone per side. Um, but what I'd like, uh, for how I'd like for us to bid this is um, how much extra it will be per piece of field stone. So that way he can choose if he wants it, he can choose how many he wants and how many on each side, etc. So the other caveat about this is that it is a various, uh, it's at various heights. So um, typically, obviously, our sitting walls are at 18-ish inches. He is looking at having it step up and step down. So for maybe two feet, it'll be at 18 inches. But then um, for 18 inches, it will be at uh, two feet. And then for 30 inches, it will be at... Um, it'll be at 12, uh, at uh, one foot, at 12 inches. So, um, considering the size, it's, you know, approximately 13 feet left to right. Um, w let's give, you know, four or five, uh, four or five, um, height changes throughout the area. It'll still be the same depth, but it'll be various heights, um, for, uh, um, uh, for the sitting wall. So uh, that'll be a fun one to do a, a sketch up on. Um, and obviously it does have a curve to it, which makes it even more fun. So, uh, and I did tell him that it's just our interpretation of, of the heights. Before we would get started, we would need further clarification on how many ups and downs, how wide, and how tall. Gen I said as a generalization, um, we're going to say it's going to average 18 inches so we might have some you know we might have some at two feet we might have some at 12 inches but as a whole it'll be in that 18 inch range um so we can we can bid it as as such so um yeah the only uh the only caveat is trying to find an irregular substitute for dolomite um if we do do this with dolomite um obviously we have to use a two and a sixth inch stuff to uh keep it from breaking. <laughs>